Today is October 16, 2023. I received this word at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the Lord told me that the message is going to be for the following. Those who have not placed their faith in him, those who honor him with their lips and not their hearts, those who are on the verge of crucifying him afresh, who treat his grace as a common thing and continue to repeatedly quench his spirit. The Bible encourages us to test every spirit, so I'm not expecting you to take my word for it. Um, I want you to take this back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time. I want you to get into the word, meditate on it, and let him speak to you there as well. Ask him to confirm or deny uh, what you heard here. You can also, if you know the word, or even if you just want to reference what was spoken about, you can see that this is, this is all biblical. And with that being said, this is what the Lord said. Rebellious nation, and he's speaking to America. What will it take to get your attention? Why are you so stiff-necked and stubborn? You insist on having your own way, but the wages of sin is death. Some of you have no idea that death is crouching at your door. You breathe out violence. Your words are full of hatred and venom. You do not appreciate my kindnesses, but instead murmur and complain. Is there no cure for your selfish hearts? I promised you a new heart because yours is never satisfied. Yours is always longing for the next best thing. The love in yours is fleeting. It doesn't last. It changes like the weather. Why is it you only love me when you are being blessed? Does it do you good to whine, murmur, and complain when you suffer? Will it add a single year to your life? Of what benefit is it to you to always live a life of ease if you would never reach for me? Why must it take such tragedy for you to search for me? I am forgotten like the morning mist until you need something. When you have need of me, I am useful to you but you'll take none of my counsel. You ignore my instructions. The laws I created were for good and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. I am your blessed hope. What hope do you have apart from me? I long to comfort you and all you do is reject my outstretched arm. I want to heal and restore your soul. You have no peace apart from me, which is why you're always searching trying to find it in man's temporary comforts. I am the great comforter, the Prince of Peace, Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. Have you still found no comfort? Why is it always escaping you? Does it never seem to last? You cannot reject the one true living God and enter into my rest. There is no rest for the wicked. They flee when nothing is chasing them. They're filled with unrest and anxious thoughts, but I never gave you a spirit of fear. The spirit I gave is one of power, love, and a sound mind. Your mind is in torment because you are lost and without hope. I gave you a way to be in right standing with me again. I gave you the faith to believe in me, to acknowledge the sacrifice I made to buy you back from captivity. But many of you are choosing the temporary pleasures of this world, which is perishing and everything in it. One day it will roll up like a scroll and burn up. A new heaven and new earth will descend from the heavens, but there will be no haughtiness on my holy mountain. Those who are proud and lifted up will be cast into outer darkness where the fire is not quenched and the worm never dies. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Since you have chosen to live a life separated from me on the earth, you will be separated from me for all eternity. It is not my desire that you should perish. Hell was created for the devil and his angels, but if you choose to gain the whole world and lose your soul, 
Hell will be your eternal home. Repent, for I am a merciful God and full of loving kindness. Turn your hearts to me. Turn your eyes away from worthless things. I offer you eternal life. Believe in me and I will take your stubborn hearts and give you ones that long to do my will. I'll write my laws on the tablet of your heart and you'll obey them out of love, not obligation. Choose this day whom you will serve. Choose me and choose life. But if you choose your sin, many of you will die in it. Thus saith the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I am that I am. I give a word, and who can turn it back? My judgment is final. The Lord also wanted me to read this one particular scripture, either at the beginning or the end. Um, I'm going to be using the NIV version, and this is Hosea chapter 6, verses 1 through 6. Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. After two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us, that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your love is like the morning mist, like the early dew that disappears. Therefore, I cut you in pieces with my prophets. I killed you with the words of my mouth. Then my judgments go forth like the sun, for I desire mercy not sacrifice, and the acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. 